Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. So if you can hear water running in the background, my husband is showering because we have somewhere to be. So this video, I'm gonna try to make it short because I've been filming forever. I filmed this look. So this video is a BoxyCharm Premium for March 2020. There's a try on and the unboxing. So if you're interested in watching that, then stick around. So we're back for those of you sorry my hair looks a little crazy for those of you that don't know what boxycharm is it is a subscription monthly subscription box they have three levels of subscription boxes they have the base box which is 25 dollars a month plus tax and for that one you are to receive um five beauty items and then the boxy Lux box is basically like a little upgrade from the boxycharm um base box but you only get it quarterly so if you do sign up for that every three months so quarterly you will pay an extra $24.99 because it's $49.99 plus tax and you get a bigger box so this month we're getting the boxy Lux, and that one you get eight plus items and that will be lifestyle items beauty skincare the boxy charm premium box which is what we are unboxing is do you see that um, is over $175 guaranteed uh, and it is $35 a month plus tax and you are guaranteed to receive six to seven items and yeah so let's get into it now um, so I usually like I I've have been lately comparing ingredients but since I'm in a rush to film this I did not have time to do that but what I will do is when I am editing this video I will do my research and if I see any ingredients that are different from what's in the box to what I find on the website then I will do like a editing clip to let you guys know so back to this the unboxing so I created this look with this box and um, that's all I'm gonna tell you cuz you need to see what I think um, so this is the box So this is how the book box looks inside. So for those of you that don't know, um, the Boxy Charm for March, they did it with um, Rihanna Fenty Beauty. So, uh, okay, let me just say best box ever so far. This is the best best Boxy Charm ever. I was gonna say maybe like just the premium, but ever for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So inside, it doesn't look like much. And when I saw it, I was like, Meh. I was like, what is this? It looks like there's nothing in here. But the items that are in here are great. So let's start. Let's start with the eyeshadow palette. I always leave the eyeshadow palette towards the end. But let's start with that. So this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. I believe it's been out for a while, so it's nothing new that came to Fenty. But I've never tried her eyeshadow palette, so I was a little like worried to see if it was going to be good or not. And this palette is made in Canada. There's two items made in Canada, and all the other items are made in the USA for those that are interested if something's made in China. So this is how the inside looks. And I did use it today, and I have swatched it, so let me show you the swatches on my arms. So these are these glitters right here, you can barely see them because one, my skin tone, and since I do, made my arm like that, the glitters kind of came off. But yeah, those are it right there. They don't look great, right? They're like, well, whatever. But they perform. That's all I'm going to say about it because at the end, I will give you my final thoughts. So this palette is... $29 so this box is 35 right that's what you pay 35 plus tax so that's already $29 the next thing I'll jump into is the um, highlighter which is the trophy wife highlighter it came in this box I don't know why I boxed everything up I've already used it and I messed this one up because I am a dummy 
So this is like a full size. It's really big and I'm super excited to have it. I do have one of her other highlighters. I was gifted it for Christmas a few, I think like two years ago. If I could open it. Okay. So I messed it up when I was applying it with my brush right there. But anywho, do you see that? Yeah, that's on there. Yep, yep. So this is a Trophy Wife highlighter and this is uh, listed for $36. This is more than the eyeshadow palette, which is a little crazy, but it is really nice. So let's jump into the next item. The next item is the blotting paper. The blotting paper I am not going to open. I'm not sure if it's more for oily people, but I do think it would work better for oily people. So I'm actually going to put this in my giveaway um, that I have. I'm a, I don't have a giveaway right now, but once I hit 400 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway. So I'm just like piling up on things. So I am going to put this away for that giveaway. Um, and this is listed for $16. The Invisima blotting paper. It comes with a little, um, like a little case. I guess that's why it's more pricey, but I would never pay that much for blotting paper if I was oily. I don't think I would just buy, I don't know, but I wouldn't. Anywho, back to this, the gloss bomb. So I was gifted a the gloss bomb the very original gloss bomb a few years back and i loved it and i lost it so i'm super excited to have this one this one is in this shade and i believe this is the only shade that they have they didn't have a variation in this one i really like her um lip glosses and i probably will be stocking up on a few others um yeah so that is listed for 19 dollars Next is the matchstick, and I was kind of worried about this because I was like, what color am I gonna get? Because there was like a purple shade and like different colors that I probably wouldn't wear. So I was super excited when I saw that I got this shade right here. Okay, let me just swatch it for you because it's not focusing. So it is basically like it matches up to the, um, the highlighter, so I put it under uh my my bronzer and then i bronzed up and i really really like this i will tell you though before using it and you'll probably see this in the video i struggled a little bit because it was a little hard so before using it i would like warm it up like swatch it on your hand and then apply it with the finger so just tips on that and this is how big this is i'm pretty sure this is a full size item it's huge and this one is uh, $25 and then last but not least is the lip item what did what did they call it plush matte lipstick and I got it again I was worried about this because I was worried I was gonna get a shade that I didn't like these lips are so tiny like I don't know I feel like I'm gonna finish this pretty quickly it doesn't I don't know that it looks super tiny on camera but it is super tiny hopefully I don't break it I'm gonna pop it all the way No, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty long, right? I'm sure it'll last me a long time. And I also put this on. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know that it look, goes with my look, but I am super happy that I got this shade because that means that I will be wearing it all the time because I wear these types of colors on my lips. So this is listed for $18. So... I am going to now insert the clip of me doing the makeup and then we will come back. We will reconvene. I will give you the final price of this entire box and I will give you my final thoughts. So stick around if you're interested in seeing my final thoughts and the uh, tutorial portion. Not tutorial, but the try on portion. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay guys, we are back. Um, did you see that? Did you see that blue shade? Did you see how that blue shade performed? It was so buttery and nice. And I know on my arm it's like, oh whatever girl, like it's just another palette. But I really, really like how buttery the, the metallics are. So that's what I think of the palette. I really like it. Um, the glitters, and you'll see on the clip on there, I tried to use the white one that I used in my inner corner on top just because I wanted to give you give it a little more dimension on top of the blue, and it just didn't look good. It just looked very ashy and not very nice. So, um, But it looked good on its own. So I'm excited to try all the other colors and do some more looks with it i know this is an older palette but if you guys want me to do some more looks with it let me know down below and so that's what i thought of the palette i really really like it and honestly i would recommend the price i mean the price tag is 29 dollars, and i definitely think that's worth it so my thoughts on that and then the following thing that i applied to my face was the matchstick which was the one in gold and i also really 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 like the shade i like the consistency i've never i don't think i have a highlighter that's this type of highlighter so i really liked it um i'm excited to keep using it then i use the highlighter and the highlighter is i will say it's glittery um the one thing i will say is i think it looks fine on me you can always use it for something else and you can apply it to your eyes just use it on your eyes and it's a beautiful color so i know that you will probably be able to make some looks with it and i am so excited to use this on my eyes as well so so happy about that next item is the lipstick so it's nice um i wasn't like wowed by it i don't think i'm gonna go and purchase any of these oh i'm sorry highlighters and the matchsticks i would recommend if you want to purchase them out of pockets of course they're more pricey um and i probably will purchase more of those but the matte lipstick it wasn't really like wowing i mean it was just a lipstick i don't i don't really think it was like super great or i'm super happy to have it but i'm not going to go and buy all the colors that they have so th that's my thought on the lipstick and i'm super happy that i got this shade in particular the glass the glass bomb gloss bomb i said glass what is great i love her lip glosses i had the original one i think i'm gonna go hopefully they still have it i want to purchase the original one um i did like this one but i really want all the other ones just because i've been really loving gloss glossy lips and the last thing is the blotting paper like i said i'm not going to use it so i am just going to set it aside and include it in my future giveaway so out of all the items which were a total of six items five out of six were a great item so i am super happy with this box and it is literally my favorite box that i've received from boxycharm in a long time so yeah 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 mm -hmm. 
So I don't know that they're going to do another collaboration with Fenty Beauty, but hopefully they do other collaborations with big brands, maybe like Natasha Denona. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like just all Natasha Denona items or uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have any of their items. Like anything with like bigger i was just making sure my mic was on because i turned it off earlier so yeah hopefully they do more collaborations where they do this and i do recommend that you guys sign up for the premium box i think they do include pretty awesome things so let's sum up everything the total of this box was 143 dollars 143 dollars for $35 plus tax. I think mine comes out to $37.80. I definitely think it's worth it. And I do recommend that you guys sign up for BoxyCharm. I know there's been drama with them, but I don't know. My thoughts, I, I think I'm gonna continue to get BoxyCharm for quite some time, unless for some reason they just, mm, or there's some other things that come up, you know? But I really, really do recommend this. And I do have per se a referral link but basically what happens is if you sign up using my link that i will link down below then i get i think i get some points that i can then get items from their charm i, I get charms so i can, i then get items for that i don't think anybody has ever used my referral link so i have never gotten any points i don't get actual money but i get points that i can use to get purchase to purchase items so you can either use that down below if you want to sign up or you can just sign up just go to BoxyCharm and sign up um, directly from them. So yeah, this was a great box. I'm hoping, I mean, I am filming this on a Saturday because I just got my box today, today, which is March 7th. I am hoping that I can put it up by March 8th, which is a Sunday. Um, usually when I get my BoxyCharms, I try to upload them as soon as possible because I know you guys want to know as soon as possible, like what did you get in your box? Is it worth it? Whatever. So I will try to put that up asap um if not sunday then for sure on monday so yeah thank you so much for being here and watching this video and let me know what you thought of these items if you do i wonder if i have a variation does it have a variation number on here mm -mm. usually it has like a variation and it doesn't so i'm assuming just because we're all getting the same things just different shades and like the lipsticks that's probably why but let me know what you got what you didn't like from this box what you do like from this box that is it. Why am I ending so long? I'm probably going to edit this, the shit out of this. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want. Subscribe if you like me. Subscribe if you like me. All right, guys. I will see y'all in my next one. Hopefully my next one is the Boxy Lux. I still don't get that one. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.